Good morning. We are at the 2019 Runaway Homecoming at Runaway Acres in Ocala, Florida. We are having a blast. Last night was a pizza party and movie, The Great Outdoor. And today there's just so many things. They've done a lot of improvements. We got some outdoor showers, a dog park, um, name tags this year. Um, so anyway, we're going to show you around. There's tons of little campers here. And it's just so much fun. We're meeting new people, seeing old friends. So let's go take a look. And Herky has all his friends here. Lane. So we met last year at this rally, right? At this rally, it was a good starting point. Yeah. It was, and now we just keep in touch yeah, through this, Facebook. And, right. This was the first place I ever went camping. Really? In my life. Really? I've never been camping until I got this little. I didn't uh, realize runaway. last year was your first. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you're like a pro. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Especially with the backing up part. Although I have to pat myself on the back. Yes. Last time I went camping, I was able to back it all the way down my driveway and take a 90 degree into my garage. Good girl. Yeah. And you met Barbara last year for the yes. first time. Barbara here and uh, And now you travel all the again. time. Yeah, been to Jekyll Island and been to uh, oh, several parks in Georgia. Yeah. Up to Tallulah Gorge and a couple of the uh, Corps of Engineer campgrounds, okay. which are great. And you met yeah. Julie in October at the Runaway Rally, right, in Smoky Mountains? I met her, at, yeah. Met Julie up there and her mama, Dolores. Okay. They're very nice Now, people. did you go to the Tiny Christmas? I went to Tiny Christmas, Did you? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Man, and you're yeah. getting around, girl. I was in Pensacola. It was kind of wet and dreary, but the people were great, you know. And that's a lot in so, a year. You yeah. have gone a lot. Yeah, so uh, it's Gives been freedom. fun. It's yeah. been fun. Going to Texas in a couple of months. Yeah. I'd love to do yeah. that. Yeah, in Arkansas. put pictures up. Yeah, okay. going to Arkansas a month after that. So it's been great. All right. Well, we met you and Ed and Herky. And, I know. And just wonderful. People. Icing on the cake, right? And that's right. <laughs> you're giving me too many places to go to, though. I'm just, just go with us. Your just YouTube. go with us. <laughs> All okay. right. Well, I'll let you get back to fun. All right. See you, baby. here with David and we met David uh, back in the fall uh, at, uh, the Smoky Mountain. at the Smoky Mountain Runaway Rally and David's been some interesting places in his runaway and um, he pulls it around the country and and uses it to uh, see some cool stuff. What's some of the cool stuff you've seen with your runaway? Um, I went to St. Louis and saw the arch and everything and just camped there for a few days and I've been to places in East Tennessee and State parks and things, uh -huh. and that's the main places I've been. Yeah. And the rallies, I love the rallies. So. What, what's the what's some of the things you like about the rally? Um, just old people. Yeah. Everybody, just I've met more people in these rallies than I've met like just <laughs> <laughs> existing. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it's it's pretty cool getting some ideas about where people have been mm -hmm. and things like that. So what's uh, on your bucket list to, uh, for some places you think you might want to go with your runaway? bucket list is definitely out west somewhere because I've never been out west. The farthest west I've been is St. Louis, so oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you crossed the Mississippi. Right, I did. For one, it's the first time ever. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. Well, David, thanks for talking with us. It's been right. great meeting yeah, you, nice uh, you with, the, with the Runaway family and uh, just, uh, it's, I'm excited for you and all yep. the places you get to go. Yep. Thank you. Okay, I'm meeting one of the first people that I actually think I met through um, on, on Runaway because uh, Deborah operates a Facebook page. Yeah, the Runaway Camper Owners page. I'm an admin for it. 
So when I was doing my research for um, to buy a runaway, she's one of the first people I corresponded with and uh, runs a wonderful page on Facebook that allows that allows us to really share some information with each other. Yeah, so yeah. here's one of the very first runaway people I've met, Deborah. <laughs> so um, we're, we're kind of talking about um, the people we've met through runaway and some of the fun places we've been. Give me a couple, uh, a couple that you've met, maybe, and uh, one of the fun places you've been. Oh goodness! Uh, the, probably the first few people I met was when we came to a rally uh, at Silver Springs that Steve hosted, and uh, here in Florida. And I met Donna Roy from Florida. And if you don't know Donna, oh, she's a hoot. Love Donna, and Debbie Lloyd, uh -huh. and let's see who else. Uh, Tracy Nikki was there, the Shives, of course. Right. Um, oh my goodness, who was at that first rally? I'd love to come to these rallies and see all these people. That's right. I see them across the campground. They are so and so. <laughs> they are so and so. The thing is, you think that you're just buying a camper and you're going to go some camp, do some camping, but met some really cool people in yeah. this in this process. Yeah. Where's a couple of the cool places you've been? Um, my husband and I went to Durango, Colorado. Awesome. Uh, I was still working full time, so he left two or three days ahead of me and got to Albuquerque, and then I left on Friday evening and flew out because I was I was allowed to have two weeks back to back vacation. I flew to Albuquerque. We drove up to Durango and stayed a week at a KOA in Durango and day tripped out from there. Rode the Durango Silverton Narrow Gauge Railway from there, and then we road trip back and stayed at Amarillo at a KOA. And when we left there, I'm thinking, you know, I want to try a different campground. I don't want to stay at a KOA. Uh -huh. So we stayed at Lake Eufaula State Park in Oklahoma wow. and decided to stay a second night there because it was gorgeous. And then we came back to T.O. Fuller State Park in Memphis and stayed there and went into Memphis and did the barbecue thing and went out nice. the river boats on the Mississippi yeah. River. And so that was kind of a memorable trip. And um, other than that, I've just local camped and I camp a lot by myself. And that's one thing I love about this because my four by eight model, I can manhandle it and move yep. it around if I yep. need to. I can put everything up and unload and load everything by myself. Yeah. I like the fact that I can do this by myself and with my hard walls and I don't get wet. I'm comfortable, I'm dry. I camp in the winter, I'm staying warm because I got an electric blanket and I have a space That's heater. Cool. So, yeah. As you can see, you meet all kinds of interesting people and in run away and uh, it's just a great time here to attend a rally. Got my good friend Russ here who's teaching us all some songs on the ukulele. So if you want to join a runaway group, best buy you a ukulele too. Ride me high, tomorrow's the day my bride's gonna come. Okay, what do you do at the runaway rally? Well, there's nothing else to do. You go crazy doing the Macarena. It's been a great weekend. We've had a blast at Runaway Acres this weekend. I hate to leave. So many nice people and great friends. New friends, old friends, great friends. You get it all with the Runaway family. All right, here we go. Herky, you ready to go home? Nope. Nope, he's not. He's got all kinds of friends here. 